Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Monday the 8th of February. As we start, let's remember our wonderful Father in Heaven. We remind ourselves as we say together, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him. Sea is his, for he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. And one of the phrases from that Psalm 95. Let us come before God with thanksgiving. So take a look back at the last 24 hours and give thanks for what has been good. And I'm just feeling very, very thankful for uh, warm homes um, and remembering those less fortunate. <clears throat> Give thanks for <coughs> all the uh, uh, wonders of modern technology to do services by uh, over the Internet for the team I can work with to do them. So let's give thanks let us be thankful let us come before god with thanksgiving and with that attitude of gratitude let's look back at the last 24 hours and pray for those things that have troubled us I'm thinking of um, a couple of people I know who have had have got COVID and are not recovering quickly. Someone else recently diagnosed with cancer. Someone else stuck, stuck in hospital longing to get home. all those on our hearts today. Father, for your healing, for your help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment to remember some of the other big issues in our world. And Father, we particularly just pray for your peace to come. So we continue to remember the Middle East, not on our television screens, and yet the conflict and the poverty continue. So, Father, we pray for Syria. We pray for the Yemen, for rebuilding in the Lebanon, for Afghanistan. For other places of conflict in the world, for Russia, for Myanmar. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we continue to pray for uh, our churches, the church nationally. Father, we particularly pray for Bishop Libby, 
for Archbishop Justin in their leadership, for our local churches, for good ways of working together. Lord, that you will take what we can give and grow your fruit, bring your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. a moment to consider the day ahead of you, what you're looking forward to and what worries you. Let us offer to God what we can and trust him to provide what we need. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Pray together. Speak, O Lord, as we come to you to receive the food of your holy word. Take your truth, plant it deep in us, shape and fashion us in your likeness that the light of Christ might be seen today in our acts of love and our deeds of faith. Speak, O Lord, and fulfil in us all your purposes for your glory. Amen. Just as a body Though one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptised by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Now if the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I don't belong to the body. It would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body. It would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? In fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable, and the parts that we think are less honourable we treat with special honour, and the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while well, our presentable parts need no special treatment. God has put the body together in great honour to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts ha should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. absolutely wonderful words uh, and I'm sure as you hear it as you as I say the words I just think yes 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 that's what we need and it applies of course to our own local churches it also applies to the bigger church I think about a, a, a friend's church in Sheffield who've been without a vicar for about two three years 
because of the financial crisis Sheffield Diocese has gone through. I wonder, do we feel the pain of different parts of the church and how do we respond? And equally, are we delighted to accept help from other parts of the church, knowing their love and concern for us? It's an absolutely beautiful picture. I love it. Let's pray for more unity, and working together, mutual help. And that generosity, that grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we say together, for the fullness of our vision, Father, forgive. For the weakness of our faith, Jesus, forgive. For the joylessness of our living, Spirit, forgive. Holy Three, have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins. Help us to seek. Help us to see. Help us to serve you. Father, hear the prayer we offer. Not for ease, that prayer shall be but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously. Be our strength in hours of weakness, in our wanderings be our guide, through endeavour, failure, danger, Father be thou at our side. We pray with confidence, thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. So we pray together. We pray that the eyes of our hearts may be enlightened, in order that we may know the hope to which you have called us, the riches of your glorious inheritance and your incomparably great power for us who believe. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and your minds in, your, in the knowledge and the love of God, of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and remain with you, today and always. Amen. Thank you for playing with me. And uh, bye-bye.